Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. It's very important to keep the submarine production line running. This is not only important from perspective of increasing the number but also retaining the resources and expertise with skills particular to submarine building. Therefore submarine building or construction should be a continuous process rather than having it in bits and pieces. Going back in past in December 1982 India and Germany has signed an agreement for construction of two submarines in West Germany and supply the knockdown kits for assembly of two more in MDL. Later in 1984 an agreement was announced for construction of two additional submarines at MDL but was cancelled due to economic crisis. The fourth and the last submarine of HTW class was launched by MDL in the year 1992. Now on 6th October 2005 India signed a series of contracts for transfer of technology to construct Calvary class submarines based on Scorpion design. The steel cutting for the first submarine for this class began in December 2006. From 1992 to 2006 that is span of nearly 14 years no submarines were constructed leading to loss of skilled and expert resources in submarine building at MDL this is one of the reason why india has to go for tot again for the construction of scorpion design and could not construct submarine of its own even though india had the tot for stw class of submarine the important point to understand is that tot is only helpful when the production line is running Now as we all know that the Vakshi the last Calvary class submarine is already at advanced stages of construction and will be inducted in the year 2024 post which MDL's construction pipeline will almost go idle. The recent agreement between NMRL and the French naval group to retrofit DRDO's fuel cell based EIP in Calvary class submarine will keep the MDL somewhat engaged but not enough to their capacity and capability. Ines Calvary which is docked at MDL will be cut open to add a section having a length of 10 meters where DRDO's fuel cell based EIP will be fitted before welding back the section new wiring and other systems will also have to be installed the addition of EIP section will increase the length of Ines Calvary to 77.56 meter and increase the displacement by 1000 kg the entire process of integration of EIP to its certification might take 4 to 5 years at the same time the pulitz 25i is going through its technical challenges which ministry of defense is working with navy to sort it out it might take couple of more years to finalize the new agreement contract signing and many other formalities so all these years will keep mdl construction pipeline idle or below their capacity if no follow on orders of additional calvary class submarine is given however indian navy seems to have identified this and is going ahead with follow on orders for additional calvary class submarine as per the latest reports from hindustan times The Indian Navy is considering approaching the government for construction of three more Calvary class submarine fitted with long endurance EIP unit by MDL in collaboration with French Naval Group. According to the South Block officials which was quoted in the report, the Indian Navy is expected to approach the Defence Acquisition Council soon for the acceptance of necessity for three more diesel attack submarines under the Make in India project. with French naval group expected to test DRDO's developed EIP system before fitting into the new submarines This was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector